we will just continue renaming and uh, connect this. I'll leave the resistors, resistor values unknown for now. That's something for you to find out. You must be surprised where this is coming from. I'll just uh, show you. In the PIGX microcontroller interfacing circuits, this is the basic microcontroller, sorry, basic motor drive circuit. And this tells you this information here. We'll see why we need a capacitor on the motor. Although 220 nanofarads is uh, recommended uh, in our design, we're we'll using uh, 0.1 UF. Now we need to uh, add on uh, pin headers. So we we'll go copy. And you can paste one here, copy it in, paste the second one. We'll add the value to this. This is our right sensor. And this is our left sensor. We'll now go and route this. Remember, this is where our infrared sensor is coming and getting plugged onto the board. The sensor design is a separate design itself. I'll take pins 1 and 1 connect them. Take them to, take them to ground. Pin 2 connected take pin two straight up to positive take pin three to pin ten this is one of our ATC channels take this pin three Sorry, I've just realized that this resistor needs to be down here. So if we can modify that, we'll just go to the delete button. Delete this connection. And move the pin head up a little bit. Move the resistor down. And reroute this. And finally, we'll just uh, add some wire pads here. So if you just go to add, you can scroll down until you find wire pad. Select the first one. Okay. Rotate it. Place it on top. This one at the bottom. This is where our battery pack will get soldered. Let's press escape, cancel. Add the value. 5 volts. 0 volts. Connection error, so I'll leave the resistor values as is. 
and you can choose whichever color LED you would want to use. Cool. In the next video, I'll show you how we can change the, the footprint of each of these components when we design our board. Save your work. Thank you for watching.